In the early 1900s, children were used as laborers for two main reasons. There were no strongly enforced laws against child labor, and they could be paid even less than adults. In 1910, it was easy to find school-aged kids like Furman Owens, who started working in a South Carolina mill when he was only eight. He said he and others like him didn't even know their ABCs, and that they wanted to learn, but they couldn't, because they worked all the time. Individual workers and social reformers in the 1800s and 1900s fought against child labor, dangerous working conditions, long hours, and bad wages. But they had little power, until labor unions were formed. Striking was an effective bargaining tool, but going on strike was not just a parade. It was more like a rebellion, and the situation could be terrifying and dangerous. Local and national governments treated strikes as civil unrest, and often dispatched armed troops to break them up. Workers were injured, and many died as they clashed with police and National Guard. Unions worked very hard to demand legislation that brought about an end to child labor in this country. Unions over the years have fought for legislation to protect workers on the job, but also to protect the living conditions and living standards of working people. 